Okay, so you've started a membership, free or paying. As soon as you finish that process, we shoot off an email to you to activate your account. You click on that activation link and it'll take you to this screen right here. This is the login screen. And you can see um, I've got my username and password all already in here so that I can sign in. We get signed in and immediately you're going to be taken to your personal dashboard. This personal dashboard is the place where you're going to start your day, each day that you use Family School. And it looks a, bit, a little bit bare right now, but as you go through each of these steps and as you review various courses and add those courses to your teaching schedule that year and as you complete courses and as you has, have lessons built into your calendar that you can also create that we're gonna show you how to, how to create your teaching calendar, then you'll have a lesson plan here for the, for the day perhaps. You'll have your courses that you've added here. You can see these are, this is a fun uh, new thing that we've added recently. It's called the Seize the Day mini lesson. And these are just fun. Uh, you can click on the little eye and just see, enjoy a new daily Seize the Day mini lesson plan. It's probably a stretch to call it a lesson and it's not for those kinds of days anyway. They will include fun, uplifting, interesting trivia and some silly ideas for celebrating each and every day. Those are really fun lesson plans that we've created and you can see uh, what they are day by day. If there's one that you love that you want to share at a later date, then make sure to go in and save it to your favorites because we don't record these. We don't save them uh, or catalog them in a way where you can go back to them. So log in every day, take a look at the Seize the Day lesson plan for that day. I should, I should say not every day, but every weekday we have a new Seize the Day, seize the day lesson plan. There's also some fun pictures that you can see families using family school and you can skip through there and just kind of get ideas of how family school is used in people's homes around the world. From the dashboard, the most important things here are that you can access everything. Uh, you can access your account, your account details, uh, your membership, my courses, my calendar, and friend to friend credits as well. We'll go through each of these quickly, but from my, my account, you have your school year settings. I'm not gonna tell you exactly what these are and yet. We're gonna move to that and then the next step. Uh, this is a member map, so if you want to see if there are other family schools living close to you, by default, all we share is your first name, so we don't share any personally identifying information on that map, but, uh, but if you'd like to see who is living close to you, then you can use the member map, and I'll show you that here in a little bit as well, uh, but these are the settings. If you want to share more, then you can share your first and last name if you want to. If you want to share your phone number with other members, this is a member-specific map, uh, so don't worry that we're sharing your personal information with anyone, only what you want to share, or you can just share nothing. If you want to uncheck even your first name, then you can do that and save those changes right there. Notifications, we send you notifications when various things happen on the site, when we release things, when people post forum questions uh, related to courses that you've added to your schedule, you can adjust how you receive notifications here on this section. Profile details, very common, very you know similar kinds of pages. Uh, that you've experienced with other profiles and other sites. Billing information you can see here as well. You can change your plan. You can see, I can see what I'm paying per month right now based on the membership that I've signed up for, my address and those kinds of things, those kinds of details. Jump over to my membership. This is where you can also see details about your plan. You can also see uh, your billing history. You can see that Caroline Ingalls has been paying for quite some time. She was a free member for a while and then she started paying. Uh, and, and you can you can print off those invoices if you want to or if you need to for your receipts. Some people can use those receipts for submitting claims to the state when they have voucher programs in the state where they homeschool, and, uh, and so we make that easily available. My courses, this is where you'll list, where all the courses that you've added for that school year will be listed, and you can see there, are not, there is nothing there right now because Caroline Ingalls hasn't gone through and looked at the courses that are available, and she hasn't created a school year yet. Again, we're going to get to that in a little bit. My calendar, we're going to get to that as well. Same with friend to friend credits. Member map is a really fun place to go to see if there are other family schoolers that live close to you, and um, you can kind of see how that works here. As you scroll in to a specific area, let's say I live in um, Utah, I do live in Utah. So if I wanna see other families, actually let's pick a different area because of course there are a lot of families that are Latter-day Saints homeschooling in Utah, but what about, what about San Diego? So you can see as we scroll in and get a little bit closer to this area, this number 14 represents 14 families and 
as we get closer, it'll show us specifically where those families are, but not too specifically that we could identify where you live. Um, it'll zoom in to this point, I think one more, and then it stops. You see, we can't zoom in any further than that. And so you can see that there are a couple of families here. If this is me, then I can see that there are three other, two other families. And if I wanted to message them and find out who they are, and if they wanna let me know who they are, I see that this is Rebecca C. I can send them a little message right here and just say hi. And when I click send, that actually sends an email directly to them. So we don't have to share Rebecca's email address with someone she doesn't know. It's likely that she knows this family because she lives so close and they're likely both out Latter-day Saints. But um, anyway, this is a great tool to help you to stay in contact with, with other families who are homeschooling or using family schools specifically. All right, that is about all we need to talk about for step two. The next step will be researching courses. This is a fun step to just go and explore what courses we have available in which subjects or within which subjects. All right, we'll move on to that step now.